In for a view, the new Boulder Black Dawn. I'm a big fan of their Venture line, but have they gone a bit too far with this one? Let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to Casual Watch Reviews. And yes, today in for review, we have the Boulder Venture Black Dawn. I've reviewed many of the Ventures on my channel and they're just impressive field watches. Boulder is one of those micro brands that has really made a name for itself in the last couple of years with unique designs. They are not falling into the trap of homaging other brands or copying other brands. They've really got their own design language and it's this design language of these utilitarian watches, geometric shapes, the use of titanium cases in a lot of the watches and the machining on these titanium cases is just spectacular for a watch in this price range. This particular watch retails at $339. We've got a fully titanium case and this version that was sent kindly in for review by Boulder also features a black titanium bracelet as well so the overall watch is very very light. This automatic version features the date at the four o'clock window and we have the tried and tested Seiko TMI NH35A movement. This features a 38 millimeter case, so very wearable size here. One of my favorite screw down crowns on any watch is the Boulder screw down crown. It has this lovely knurling to it that almost looks like an industrial equipment. They just do a great job of this. It's a field watch, but it still has 200 meters water resistant so it has a dive watch water rating to it which is just awesome let's look at those case stats while we're talking about the case we have a 44 millimeter from lug to lug a 38 millimeter case and a 20 millimeter lug width it comes with a black nato strap that also features titanium hardware or you can upgrade for i think it's an extra hundred dollars to get this fully titanium bracelet which if you've seen titanium bracelets that come with other brands Brands, that's almost a bargain to have a fully titanium bracelet for hundred dollars it also has a flat sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating i don't think there's much more i can say about this watch than i've said about the other venture watches the unique thing with this one is it's coming in a fully dlc coated case and to be honest i as a rule don't really like dlc coated black watches the reason being is I worry about the coating scratching off. Now I have been wearing this for a few weeks and the coating has stood up very well to it. With the exception of some of the links where the coating has sort of become shiny, you will get this with DLC coated watches. So if this doesn't bother you, if you like that way aged weathered look and you like black watches, this is a great choice for you. The matte black dial, similar to that Boulder Medic 2, it's a very, very deep black matte i don't think this shows properly on their website and i'm probably going to struggle to capture it here but it's an extremely dark matte which makes the loom really pop on here they've gone with that old radium look of the loom again i'm not a massive fan of this look but i do think it works well on this watch i would have liked this if they'd gone with the traditional green loom maybe or maybe a white on black would have been a really nice touch they've gone with this more subtle subdued old radium look on here as well but they have carried that through to the logo and the hands and the numbers on here match that as well and they've even gone so far as to add that to the date wheel even though the date itself doesn't glow in the dark a really nice touch now the date window does completely replace where the four o'clock would be but it doesn't replace or obscure any of the other markings and none of the text on the boulder dials obscures any of the other numbers that are on here as well we have a second track on the right on the outside with its own loom pips in a track we have a 12 hour time and then central we have the 24 hour time or military time as it's 
is also affectionately known. This is an extremely wearable watch. I, th I think this is offering really good value for money at the $339 range. A very well machined titanium case, automatic movement, and a lot of thought that has gone into the design. You're getting a very unique watch here for less than $400. The bracelet, I'll do a mini review on that because this is a separate purchase. It does have fully black DLC coating on there. And as mentioned before, it is coming away on some of the links. The fitting against the watch very nicely done. We have drilled lugs on here as well, which makes swapping out the strap very easy. The only thing I would say about the bracelet is it's using just a very basic fold over clasp. It's not, there's nothing special. It's not like a highly machined fold over clasp that they're using here. It does have three points of adjustment and then a safety. We have the bolder lo logo embossed on the clasp as well. If you've watched the channel, you know I'm very biased towards bolder. I like their watches, their packaging, is a bit quirky as well each most of their watches come in a pelican style case i wish you could remove the foam from the inside easily it's very well glued in there because you could use it to keep a number of watches in or maybe even make a survival kit out of the box itself that also includes the watch this particular model i mean i'm not a huge fan of dlc coated watches this is no fault of boulder if you've seen me review other DLC watches on the channel, you know I'm not a massive fan of them. But if you like black DLC coated watches, then they've done a pretty good job of this. As mentioned before, there's a few imperfections on the bracelet here. But I think that's just power for the course with DLC watches regardless who makes them. I don't think there's any deficiency in the DLC coating that Boulder's using on here. More importantly, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I'll see you next time on Casual Watch Reviews. Thanks guys, bye.